Greetings Earthlings and here's a quick tutorial on how to do green screen in Final Cut Pro 7. Okay, old school. Now let's take a clip. We've got a background clip here. Let's drop it onto our new sequence. There it is. And do we want the sequence to match the clip settings? Yes, indeed we do. There we go. So now it's jumped to widescreen and it's got the right frame rate, etc. I'm just going to rename this sequence. Oh, here we go. Let's name it Super Super Boys. I'm going to call it Super Boys. Oops, there we go. Super Boys. There we go. And here's our superheroes. I'm going to drop those on top. There they go. And. Yes, indeed. You've got to eat your spinach. So, we need to pop an effect on these guys to remove the green. So, let's go to our video filters. And I've got loads here, all the uh, third party plugins. But what we want is going down to key. And let's go to our chroma key and drop that on the top layer. Uh, double click that to open it in the viewer. And here we go. So, we need to pick a color. Of course, the color we need to pick is green. So let's drop that on there. And we're starting to remove some green. But you can see we're removing quite a, a narrow band of green just chosen by the picker. So we need to expand that a little. So let's try and drag it out so we get more green in there. Even a little bit more. But we don't want to start removing blue because, of course, that will punch a hole in our superhero. So we're on the green. But you can see this area here is darker. So probably by dropping the luma. Okay, we're starting to make progress. We're getting rid of... Okay, that's got rid of the darker spots. And also that's probably a little less saturated because it was in the greyer area. So we'll drop the saturation. Oh, no, we're getting there. This side was a little brighter. So let's increase the luma a little bit. And just increase the saturation. And there we go. Still little bits left. So let's just spread this out a bit. Uh, maybe spread this out a little more. And, and that's looking pretty good, pretty good. And we can always check our mat by just clicking on this key here. And we can see that we've got nice transparency and the white areas. If I change this, for example, there you get st you start to get grey areas. I'll just undo that, Command-Z. Grey areas are semi-transparent and we don't want semi-transparent areas. So that's that's looking nice. It's a little, a little rough around the edges there. So what I may do is increase a little bit of softening. There we go, soften the edges slightly and, and maybe just thin the edge a little bit just to give it, just to take away some of that choppiness and we go back through to our source, then back to our final result. That's looking good. A little, tiny little bit of green left there. So I'm just going to take the enhance and that's just going to kind of get rid of a little bit of green. Okay, that, that's looking good. Um, we've got a tiny little problem up here we've got a little bit of the edge of the green screen showing so I'm just going to zoom out on this a little bit just so get in there and I'm going to go to matte and a simple four point garbage mat on here will suffice I'm going to drop that on and go to my filters here we go so here's point one let's take that there point two we just need to get rid of this tiny little corner point three Point four, put that there. Okay, and then if we invert that, our chaps are back, and we've just used the garbage mat to cut out the corner. Okay, and just check through. Let's make this big again, fit to window. Just want to check that I'm not cutting off his head at any point. No, that looks okay. Rightio. So we've now got the. Our, our footage keyed out so we're pretty much there but what's nice to do is to make the footage sit in the mix as it were make it join it together a little more is maybe to give a little bit of color a uh, little of a color grade to both clips and before i do that another nice little trick is to sort of simulate the depth of field of a camera and so what i could do is take maybe the defocus uh plug in there and pop that on the bottom layer on the background there we go so we can actually kind of ramp that up a little bit and have the background slightly out of focus kind of getting that depth of field look 
Uh, you can see you, you get little black edges with defocus. So we're just going to go and if you hit this crop button, that will just fill in those edges. There we go. Should do. Oops, there we are. Okay. So that's looking all right. Let's just check on us. There we go. All right. Now, what we need to do now is I want to apply a look to both clips. So rather than do two looks, I'm going to take these and I'm just going to go to sequence. I'm just going to nest them. There we go. There we go. Keep that name. Okay. So now we've got one clip and I can go to my video filters, color correction. And let's put our good old friend, the color corrected three way on there. Now what happens is when I, if I double click like normal to open the clip in the viewer, it doesn't do that. It opens the nested clips. So the trick here is to right click, control click and choose open in viewer. There we go. And now I've got my color corrector and I can maybe crush those blacks a little bit. Uh -huh. Oop. And bring up the whites. And maybe take the saturation down. There we go. Give it more of a kind of modern day superhero type look. And there you go. We've done a, a simple key in Final Cut Pro 7. I thank you.